all right hello guys welcome back and in this part of the video we are going to be introducing you to the c language as well as writing our first line of code using c all right first before we jump right in first let's get some fast traits um c what is c and why are we writing um program are we programming in c C is probably the most widely known programming language and it was um, invented or developed by Dennis Ritchie and Ken Tomsey and is widely used in embedded devices and it powers most, most of the internet servers which are built using Linux, right? And you should know that C is a compiled programming language and like Go, Java, Swift or Rust um, all these are compiling language, or like, um, or like Python, which is an interpreted language. Okay, um, a compiled language generates a binary file that can be directly executed and distributed. So in this particular video, we are going to be introducing you to C and write here first line of code. I'm I'm using Code Blocks, um, test editor. Why my choice of, um, test? Why using Code Blocks? Um, Code Blocks is an IDE that uses color tests like to highlight source codes offer line numbers like if you look at this program you see how you know beautiful is aligned and it helps you collapse and expand course of blocks to help keep things organized that is why i choose um code block so a little dive into what we are looking at today writing code in c C creates content file. So C is a compiled programming language, like I said earlier, and the compiled language generates a binary file that can be directly executed and distributed. So the content of the test file in the programming language um, uses um, uses the language rules, syntax, as well as formatting. So for C source code files, the test name ends with a .c file extension. I think that is something you want to um, really keep at the back of your mind as we go on with this video with this training the source code is then compiled into object code by a compiler that is why it's a compiled language and the c language is compiled which is different from python which is an interpreted language the compiler reads the source code and generates the object code and the object code ends with a um a dot o file extension so there is a lot to learn about C, but for the sake of, of this video, I'll just continue and we jump right in to write our first line of code and I will explain each line of the code. Are you ready? Let's dive right in. Um, first, I'll just go on and write um, this basic C, lang uh, C code. The first I'm going to do, I will include... include stdio.h and then i'll go on to please never worry after the code i'm going to explain each line i'm going to include uh, add my comment and to do that just going to use this symbol and multi-line comment rather and i'll have main I'll just add some comment then I'm sorry I'm supposed to have an asterisk here then I'll go on to write this other line of my comment return zero success and then I'll go on to write initial um, write the program and the function. I'm not passing any argument, so it's a, it's void. Then I'll go on to printf printf. Printf. Uh, 
hello world then I'll add a new line and lastly I'll return zero all right um yeah this is it this is just a simple basic C program that returns this this printf here all right so i'm going to take my time to actually explain what is happening here okay why i have what i have here i this is the header file then we have the comment section okay let me go ahead and save this okay oh uh, sorry i need to end this here all right so this is the comment session and this is our function all right which is the main program so why why do we have all of this here i included the standard input output dot h header file so why this why included this this is a preprocessor directive that includes the standard input output library in a C program. For this, I'm talking about this, this um, stdio.h. So, and it includes declarations for standard input output function. Examples of such functions include the printf function, like the one we use here. Others include the scanf function, the getcar function, and the putcar function. So all of these, when you are using them in your program, you have to include this declaration, which is standard input output .h. I believe that makes some sense to you. Don't worry, in our subsequent video, I'm going to take my time to dive um, deeper into that. Then we have the comment section. So for this comment section, for a standard C program, you ought to have a comment section, which um, is for documentation and we use a multi-line comment here this is a multi-line comment you can have a single line comment and to add a single line comment you just use your just use your double slash and if you write anything there it's not going to be read by the compiler it's not going to be compiled by the compiler so this comment it doesn't add any it's just for documentation it's not compiled when this program this program is run it's not compiled so after that you have our main program right which starts from here so here we have the our function name is main right this is the main the function name is main and this main is returning an integer data type uh I'll have a separate video where we explain data type. We have um, integer, we have float data type, we have character data type, we have uh, pointers, we have uh, long, and the rest of them. So this program, this uh, function, is going to return an integer data type. And we are putting void here because we are not passing any argument to this parameter. Take note that uh, if I remove this void and leave this um, this bracket the same way, just empty, it's going to return the same thing. So they mean the same thing actually. So after that, open my curly braces. I'll use a printf function which was declared in the standard input output.h library head, uh, header file. Then I'm printing what? I'm printing hello world to the console. So um, and again, you see a slash n here, which means we are printing. After printing, we want to display, we want the console to enter a new line. That is why we enter this. So what is this return zero doing here? For this return zero, it is uh, a standard way of showing that we have successfully executed our program. So if it is returning a zero, it shows that a program has been successfully executed like what we have here this main shows that this is the program entry point and after running this program when it's been compiled it's 
uh, when it returns zero, it shows that the program is um, successfully executed. But take note that I can do without this and the program still run fine. Why? Because the compiler will assume that since I'm not returning any value, right? Since I didn't include any return value in my program, it will automatically include the return zero, even if I didn't, I did not include that all right so i believe that um this make some sense to you so i will just go ahead and save this and save what i have and i will build and run right i'll go ahead and build and run okay i'm oh, sorry we need to put a semicolon here right so i'll save again and build and run all right so you see our program run successfully and if you notice if you notice there is a space here there is a space after hello world you have an empty space here which means that the compiler left a line a line the console entered a new line but if i come back here and remove this new line if i remove this you'll see and again if i come back like i told you earlier i can remove this void and just leave the bracket empty and the program is still going to run so if i save this time if i go on and save and i build and run you see if you notice here there is after this hello world is be printed to the console there is no space here again because we didn't add that the compiler should leave in a new line all right and again we used the in the bracket we did not add any par any anything we didn't write void or any argument at all so it printed again and again i was um, i'm telling you that i can remove this this return zero i can do away with this and the program will still run fine let's see how it goes if i be save view that run you see it worked why because the compiler um let's say at the back end i did return zero because i didn't signify any um return value for this program so thank you this is your first program if you run yours successfully and it works let me know in the comment section as we see again in other subsequent videos where we learn about c programming language i'll see you in the next video thank you happy coding